There's one comment that says, for some reason, they feel that your department is the happiest department of all. Yeah. We are nice people. Yeah. We are so nice. We are the happiest department. Look at our faces. It's Eddie and put yeah. flowers on them. Yeah. Like, like fairy, like whoa. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm June from Mandai Wildlife Group. Welcome to another episode of Hashtag AMA. Ask Mandai Anything. Where you ask, we answer. <laughs> Today, we're diving into a topic that is seldom talked about, yet it plays a very important role to help to keep our animals in the pink of health. And that is, what happens to animals after they pass on. Joining us today to share their insights and to answer your questions are our wildlife pathologists, Dr. Shin Min and Dr. Chada. Hello! <laughs> we received numerous interesting and encouraging comments, like, thank you for your positivity in helping the animals even the day. There's one comment that says, for some reason, they feel that your department is the happiest department of all. Because our nature of work is so morbid every day, right? Staying positive definitely helps. Generally, Chiara is a very happy-go-lucky guy, so that helps a lot. Right? Right. Yes. yes. So tell us, why do you love dead animals so much? They won't die again. Right, no stress. We get to see very cool stuff. Yeah, it's a very interesting puzzle solving process. We are very lucky to be working in the zoo and being able to see wildlife. I've not seen a wild pangolin in Singapore yet. Mm -hmm. I saw them on my table. We've only seen dead <laughs> Raffles banded langer. Yeah, I've never seen a live one. Let's get started on a question. Uh, I mean that wasn't it. That was not. There's a lot more. Oh, uh. okay. <laughs> The first official question. Do you perform post-mortems for all animals? Yes. Ideally, yes. yes. Depends on how decomposed the yeah. carcass is. Camming is like skeleton already, so you can't do anything. And for fish, most time they die overnight, it's all rotten. You cannot really get a lot of information from them. But how about birds or animals that presumably died of old age? Oh yeah. Uh, that animal is that animal, okay? No matter what yeah. reason you die, that animal is that animal. And especially the old animals are interesting because that's where they start to accumulate all the old age old problems, age. they get heart problems, they get cancer. Sometimes you find something interesting or unexpected. What happens to dead animals thereafter? Would they be cremated or buried? So they are all bagged and disposed as biohazard waste. Do we know how they are disposed of? Incinerated. Yeah. 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 For certain animals that are a bit more special, sometimes we keep the bodies for taxidermy. Yes. Or sometimes the museum wants a wild animal, we pass them the carcasses of the wild animals. Yeah, or the, uh, the rubber spended langer. Spended langer. Sometimes maybe pangolin. Then we need to do postmortem much more carefully. So we minimize the number of cuts. Basically, it's just one big cut yeah. down the, the center of the body. Yeah. Then remove the organs. And so that leaves the carcass more or less intact for taxidermy purposes. What is the most unusual cause of death in an animal that you have caught, uh, encountered? Yes, so they're awful spending anger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the trigger bitten by a snake and fall to death. That's why my, my theory. Got one bite mark here. You can see the fan mark. There was also hemorrhage along the back. It's like, mm, maybe four on the back. I thought, wow, can be so sweet. It gives us an insight into also what the wildlife, what they're doing outside mm. as well. Yeah. You know, which is quite helpful for our local conservationists. Uh. There's a network of yeah, eyes on the ground yeah. um, so that are good. helping to yeah. keep a lookout. So when there's dead otters, dead pangolins, dead raffles banded langers, we will know and yeah. they will come to us. How do you guys feel after working on a very gruesome case? Chada will always be hungry. Hey, not gruesome, not gruesome. I'm also, also hungry, I'm hungry That's now. true. He's hungry 24-7. Yeah. So in my previous workplace, the dog was still alive, but half the face was full of maggots. I feel very bad for the dog. I will never forget that case. And I started picking out the maggots. I wanted to count it. After like 50 hours, like, I'm not going to bother counting anymore. So maggot wound smell is very obvious. Like, you just need to smell it and you know it's a maggot yeah, wound case. Yeah. It's the xian xian wei tao. Yes. I won't say it's gruesome, but it's like, it's not a nice feeling. Is there a dead animal that affected you the most? Affect me? No? <laughs> he loves, he likes dead animals. Leh. It warms his cockles, man, these dead animals. <laughs> I got energy from the animals. <laughs> very, very rarely, if a case was like very challenging, it's not hard to get upset, but we don't dwell on it, so it's part of our work. Is there a biobank for animals? Started from uh, Armin. Oh, is when that Armin right? Died. I yeah. didn't know that. Armin died, they want to preserve the genetic material. Usually we collect from muscle and also liver. Ideally, you can keep it forever. So now we usually keep genetic material for Asian or Southeast Asian species, especially those that are threatened. There is another way that so we collect part of the skin. You can culture it and 
can get a lot of different generation of this cell. So you have enough for, for you to try to change them into stem cell. If the technology is good for certain animal, you can turn these cells into eggs and sperm. You can have baby from them. We also biobank animal sperm. We will try to harvest the semen from the testicle. For science and for future generations. Yes. <laughs> Next question, what is the largest dead animal, of course, that has entered this post-mortem room? Giraffe or Saladan, the Tomistoma. So I was doing the 700 plus kilo Tomistoma crocodile alone. The most tedious part is not the cutting, just chop it into small pieces, fit into the biohazard bin. So there's a technique to it, to dismembering large carcasses. Yeah, once you cut enough, you know how to... Remember. The Baragos. Yeah, that's the worst. The carapace, which is the top shell, and the plastron, which is the bottom shell, where they connect at the side, there's extra, there's an extra bony bridge, yeah, bridge there. Yeah. And it's really hard to get our saws in at the correct angle. Even currently now, I struggle with yeah, the Baragos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, me too. It's just not easy. And also the shell is harder than other turtles. Yeah. Our primer scales are actually this big. It's like a salami and they are... Yeah solid, they're like so hard. Even shears or bone cutters cannot cut through it. What we end up doing is uh, we actually pluck out the scale. It's like descaling a fish, except our fish is 90 or 100 kilograms and it has an armour of like crazy scale. And also slimy. After so a while, your arm will start to cramp up. That's, That's why like I do rock like 15 minutes. <laughs> Helps. I go home and squeeze the stress ball. <laughs> <laughs> For really large animals, we will have to go out in yeah. the field and do it. I want to do a whale. I really want to do a whale. But I'm not going to be the first one to poke them. Oh no, you stand at the back there. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute, just poke one end, just draw it. Are there any group or species of animals, carcasses, that you prefer not to work on or you might arrow to each other to do? Why would we fight? I don't know. Yeah. Why would we fight? Oh, the happiest department, okay? Remember? A very peaceful one. It's the comment, the comment. <laughs> oh, insects go to him. Uh. I think she also does. I also have to do. Yeah. You can play the violin music. What the hip is department, okay? It's my own personal interest, yeah, to identify the maggots. They're quite cute. Need to mention again, they're quite cute. Mm. Have you encountered animals that begin moving while they are on your examination table? Yes. Frog sending, they say the state outside. Just put it on the table. I feel like the frog just a bit different than the dead frog. The frog like this. Not moving. Then I just po start to poke it. Then it's wrong. Huh? Then I call the keeper and ask the keeper. Keeper said, Hey, I stayed there for 10 minutes to watch this frog. It was not moving. Oh, I poke it was not moving as, as well. Then I confirmed it's dead. But there's an interesting fact for the cold blooded animals like fish or reptiles. Even if they've been in the fridge overnight and we examine them the next day, we see the heart still beating. And that's completely normal. And when the students see, they're like, <gasps> Are live animals afraid of you? Like how they are typically afraid of bats? No lah. No. 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 Why? Yeah, we're so nice. We're the happiest department. Look at our faces. <laughs> yeah. We are nice people. Yeah. You see, my photo cannot keep the evil spirit away. Can yeah. you see that? So we go there and go, no. <laughs> Imagine now the black aura follow us where yeah. we go. Please edit and put yeah. flowers on there. Yeah. Like, like fairy life. <laughs> yeah. How do the findings eventually translate into helping the zoo community like us to take better care of our animals? There's a trend. We can help to prevent the outbreak or try to identify the outbreak as early as possible and to stop it. Some of the findings, if it's quite unique and nobody has published in the scientific community, you can also publish it. And all the data we collected actually is very useful for other zoos. Every month, we actually do a data analysis of all the animals that have died and we also can break it down to the different sections and the different departments and then the animal care team can actually get to it and either start treating the animals or taking preventive measures. There are only two zoos in Southeast Asia has pathologists. Yeah, one is in Thailand, one is us. Actually people do randomly email us asking for help, for help or they send us photos and then we will just give our opinion. Like some of the rescue centers, last time the Chikananga, they have a dead bird, so they will either video call us, then we can do a virtual post-mortem examination. Other than doing post-mortem, within Mandai, do you help other vets in other procedures we, uh, for our living at CD scan! Shada scan? Yeah. Yeah, CD scan! That's what they call him! But the scan can only scan once, you won't get the animal back. <laughs>
<laughs> surgery, yes, we scope. Yeah, we can give quite a few different opinions because we open animal every yeah. day. Like the reptiles, right? Oh, when yeah. they do a, a celioscopy of the reptiles, they put in a small little camera into the body cavity of the turtles or the lizards. Sometimes the positioning of the organs and the colour of the organs look very different on camera. We are there to say, yeah, that looks okay, that looks normal colour. Yeah. And then sometimes when they're doing ultrasounds, they find like masses or abscesses. We can actually help with the sample that they've collected and process it, and then they can get a result within 10 minutes. What would you say to someone who is as passionate as both of you in dead animals? People like dead animals approach me sounds weird. <laughs> what kind of people is this? <laughs> people like dead animals approach me sounds weird. <laughs> what kind of people is this? If you want to pursue this stroke, you have to prepare yourself. After you open, you need to analyze the data you get to see the samples, check everything. For pathologists, you need to know more than just doing a postmortem. So it's really different. But go for it, do it lah. Why not? Pursue your dream. Yes! Thank you so much, Dr. Shimin and Dr. Chada. That was very fun. We had quite a lot of interesting questions and we we're very happy to answer them. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hashtag AMA Ask Mandai Anything where you ask, we, we answer. answer. Bye bye! bye.